on YouTube where the past comes alive. Brian's knife showcasing them vintage pocket knives. Every blade tells a story, rusty but grand. Reminding me. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to Brian's Knives. Just thought I would uh, jump on here and just say hello. Uh, have a pretty cool knife uh, that I want to show you. Uh, and it would be a GEC Viper. So take a look at that guy. Pretty cool knife. Uh, just uh, got him recently. Um, and uh, I think he's worth taking a closer look at. So let's go down to the desktop and uh, let me show you a little bit more about this knife. All right, welcome back to Brian's Knives. So glad you could be with me today. Wanted to show you something um, that I've added to my collection recently. Uh, and this happened because a great uh, gentleman in the knife community, Peter uh, Friedel, uh, made this possible. And uh, really appreciate Peter uh, being willing to uh, let me be able to uh, purchase this knife from him. Uh, I'm grateful for that. And uh, these are hard to find, and uh, I've been looking for some time um, for a great Eastern cutlery knife. And uh, Peter had this one. Look at it's just beautiful. That red bone, jigged red bone there. You can see it. Of course, all you guys know, but these are made in the United States by hand. And that guy looks just about brand new. I mean, you can hardly see here if you can get a good look there. Made in the USA. <clears throat> I love that blade shape. Uh, Warren Cliff um, style blade on it. Got a heck of a sharp point. Traditional uh, nail nick. It's got that great uh, 1095 um, carbon steel. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, I love the lanyard hole, love that bone. It's pretty awesome for sure. And I mean, it's got all kinds of snap. <laughs> It'll cut your, oh, and half stops. I forgot about that. Uh, it cut your finger right off. Got to keep those out of the way, for sure. Brass pins, of course. Brass liners. But yeah, super nice knife. I'm pretty impressed. It's the first uh, GEC I've ever handled personally, um, so I really like what I'm seeing here. And then, of course, I've been carrying it in my new Clark Knives um, sheet that he made me. Uh, and then I already showed you the, the tube that uh, the knife came in. But, uh, yeah, uh, super nice piece. Uh, that's going to be getting a lot of pocket carry for sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're a little bit, little bit hard to come by. So I was really pleased and blessed to have found it. Uh, I've talked to a couple of you guys that uh, love GECs, and uh, everybody's got good things to say, and I can see why. It's a super nice knife. So, anyway, don't want to uh, drag this out too long, but I uh, wanted to uh, jump on here, and when I had just a minute, and uh, give you a peek. And um, there is um, the information again, in case you may want to uh, try to find one. Uh, it's the Indian Paintbrush Jig Bone, and you see the number 470114 there. So, um, anyway, all right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you're having a good week, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Blades, I feel them for